Hi friends! Today we are going to be doing Unit 3, Lesson 5, The Muscular System. We're going to first go over the vocabulary that you will be hearing in today's reading. Cardiac muscle is the muscular tissue of the heart that contracts rhythmically and continuously. Contract means to bring together, to shorten, or to tighten. Muscles are the body tissue made of long cells that can contract or tighten and relax to produce motion. Nerves are bundles of fibers throughout the body that transmit sensations, information, and instructions to the brain and spinal cord. Voluntary muscles are muscles that can be controlled by someone's own choice. We are now going to move into the reading. Hi guys, it's me, Ricardo. Last time we were together, I told you that our next discussion would be about a system that works extremely well with your skeletal system. Did any of you predict the name of the system we're going to talk about today? If you predicted the muscular system, you're correct. You've learned how the bones in your skeletal system are connected from head to toe. Bones form the important framework of your body, but they could not move without the help of your muscles. What are muscles? The word muscle comes from the Latin word musculus. Muscles are made up of bundles of long, thin cells. They are controlled by signals that come from your brain and spinal cord, which carry messages through nerves to every part of your body. Muscles receive these messages telling them when to contract or tighten, how to contract, and for how long. When muscles contract, they squeeze together, shortening and causing movement. Muscles are at work in your body all the time, even while you're sleeping. You have more than 650 muscles in your body, making up between one third and one half of your body weight. There are three types of muscles in your body, but most of them are skeletal muscles. Your skeletal muscles work closely with your bones to give them mobility or motion. Just as there are axial bones and appendicular bones, there are axial muscles and appendicular muscles. Which muscles do you think are axial? Right, the ones in your head, neck, and torso. And where are the appendicular muscles located? Yes, in your arms and legs. Most muscles work in pairs. Muscles only pull on bone. They cannot push. As your muscles pull on bone, they contract or get shorter. In order to relax or lengthen, muscles need a partner to pull the bone in the opposite direction. Paired muscles never pull at the same time. One pulls, the other relaxes. One relaxes, the other pulls. Look at this picture of the muscles in your upper arm. It shows what happens when you make a fist and bend your arm. The biceps muscle contracts and bends your elbow, while your triceps muscle relaxes. When you straighten your arm out again, your tricep muscle contracts and your bicep muscle relaxes. By working in pairs, taking turns, pulling on your bones, skeletal muscles enable you to ride a bike, play the guitar, or climb a mountain. Skeletal muscles come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, fat and skinny, long and circular. Because you control your skeletal muscles, deciding when and how you want to move your bones, they are called voluntary muscles. The movement does not happen automatically you make a conscious decision to move the muscles attached to your bones. Narrow rope-like tissues called tendons attach bones to muscles. You can see the tendons under your skin if you flex your arm back and forth. Try it, bend your elbow as if you wanted to show off your muscles and feel the tendon just under the skin on the inside of your elbow. What are other good places to view your tendons in action? Look at your neighbor's neck. Can you find the tendons as he turns his head? Can you find tendons in your arms or legs? The muscles in your legs are the largest and strongest skeletal muscles in your body. One of these muscles is your calf muscle. Feel your calf muscle at the back of your lower leg. It is responsible for much of your movement. Helping to bend your knee when you walk or run. It is attached to your heel bone by the longest and most powerful tendon in your body, the Achilles tendon. If your Achilles tendon is cut or torn, the use of the leg for jumping or running is lost immediately until it heals. The tendon is named for an ancient Greek mythological figure. Its variant, Achilles heel, is a figurative phrase indicating our weak spots, places where we feel most likely to be hurt, either physically or emotionally. In addition to skeletal muscles, there is smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. Are you ready for another riddle? I am a muscle. Like music, I have a rhythm and a beat. I am protected by the rib cage. What am I? Does anyone know what type of muscle is contained in your heart, smooth or cardiac? Your thick, powerful heart is made of cardiac muscle, the strongest muscle in your body, 
found only in your heart. Unlike skeletal muscle, healthy cardiac muscle never tires. It is continually contracting and relaxing, rhythmically pumping blood around your body all day and all night. Cardiac muscle is an involuntary muscle, meaning that you do not control its movement. Your brain controls how fast your heart beats without you even thinking about it. Why do you think that is important? Smooth muscle is the third type of muscle in your body. It is also involuntary muscle because you cannot consciously move it. It contracts exactly like skeletal muscles do, only much more slowly. Smooth muscle lines the walls of internal organs and blood vessels and uses less energy than skeletal muscles. It squeezes and tightens, mixing and churning food in the stomach. It lines your lungs and blood vessels too. The next time we meet, we'll talk about the system that controls all your other body systems. This system controls both the voluntary and involuntary muscles in your body and much more. Can you guess what system it is? We'll see if you guessed correctly. You may now move on to Unit 3, Lesson 5, Google Forms.